Hello, I'm Alan Bensky. I'll be teaching the course Wireless Positioning and Location Technologies on Wednesday, June 15th. Positioning has become synonymous with communications in virtually all wireless networks. This course will give you what you need to participate in positioning applications as a developer, user, or promoter. It starts with historical perspectives and a survey of applications, followed by definitions of terms and parameters. Then you'll learn how basic measurements, distance and angle of arrival, are converted to location coordinates through trigonometric relationships. The course goes on to describe the fundamentals of measurement methods, including, for example, time of arrival and received signal strength. After digesting positioning basics, we progress to reviewing satellite navigation, where you'll learn how signals from space vehicles many thousands of kilometers away can pinpoint a receiver position to within tens of centimeters and even better. We cover spread spectrum timing, sources of errors, and the ongoing modernization of the U.S. global positioning system, as well as global navigation satellite systems of countries around the world. Cellular networks are arguably the most visual platform for location technology in the eyes of the general public. Cellular positioning got its impetus from emergency call regulations through dialing 911 in the U.S. and 112 in Europe. No one technology fits all circumstances, and so we learn about inherent positioning based on cell ID, handset-based network-assisted satellite navigation, and other methods which are more suited to dense urban environments and indoor location. Short-range networks have a vital role for location applications aimed at personnel and inventory tracking. That's why we included in the course a survey of positioning methods applied to RFID, ultra-wideband, and wireless personal area networks, and also, of course, Wi-Fi. Finally, you will see how the wireless methods we discussed can be combined or fused with inertial sensors, accelerometers, and gyroscopes to correct and improve overall positioning reliability. If your work entails some aspect of wireless location, or if you have a strong curiosity to learn how the different technologies work, then this is a course for you.